The shrink wrap command has been improved to create linked relationships between your original geometry and your shrink wrap model. For example, when we run the shrink wrap command, you'll see a new option down in the browser to link to the original geometry. With that check, it'll create this link relationship. You can also go ahead and set various settings that you want to use for your shrink wrap and just go ahead and process that. And this will take just a second for it to go through the process of hiding geometry and also editing and removing features that are using for hole patching, which includes pockets and grooves. Once the process is complete, it will prompt you to save the file and you'll notice it's used the same name as your original file but added an underscore simple to define the simple relationship or the link relationship between the two files. So we'll go ahead and hit save and it'll present us with what it did in the process, including removing geometry and reducing the file size of the, of the, the overall file. We can go ahead and hit OK, and it'll open up the final results so we can see our final shrink wrap model. So we can see a lot of the geometry was removed and grooves and things like that were all removed as well. We can close this file, and we can come back to our original file, and I'll just go ahead and close that as well. And we'll save this file now that we've created that link relationship. The next time that we open our CAM assembly file, we'll see a new icon added in our browser at the bottom. That's called the uh, CAM assembly simple. So this is our link relationship to our simplified model. So if we make changes, for example, if we go ahead and do some design changes for maybe we'll add a hole to this part, for example, and maybe add some additional geometry off to the side here. I'll just add a little component to the side, quickly uh, design this and add it up to the, the existing geometry. Maybe we'll just line this up to the top. And so we can see some new changes here to our model. Now if we go to our, <clears throat> our file, we can go ahead and save this file or wait until afterwards, but we can go to this link that we've created for our simplified, right click and hit edit shrink wrap, and just hit, hit go to go ahead and reprocess and update our shrink wrap model. So let's go through the process again for us. And it will update everything for us to our shrink rep version and make sure the link relationship is updated to the main file. So we'll go ahead and hit OK. Notice it didn't ask us to do any saves to this file because it's already created the file and already has a relink relationship. And you can see that the geometry has been updated, the hole has been removed. So our new file has been updated. We can close that and we can save and close our file. So this is a good way to continuously have a, a shrink wrap file and a full version that you can work with and update at any time at your leisure. It doesn't do it automatically because you may have multiple changes in the process, new parts being added, removed, and you may not want to do it at all the top, all stages of the file. So whenever you're ready to update your shrink wrap model, just hit the command. It'll update and resave the file for you and maintain that relationship that you can use later in your full designs, which we'll show in another video.